Let's go back to Black Hill State last week, Coach. Was it nice to kind of have a dominant, uh, complete performance from your team and uh, see them perform like that? Uh, yeah, it was really good for our guys. A lot of people play. I think one of the un untold stories in that game, uh, our offense with the, a lot of guys that had not played at all had uh, got the ball for 11 minutes and ran out the clock, had a 19-play drive, and still didn't score a touchdown. They were mad at me, but they, they, they wanted to score, and I wanted to do the right thing. Ross Dawson threw for 390 yards and uh, four touchdowns last week. Uh, I think he's fifth in the nation in passer efficiency, passer rating. Uh, just talk about his performance and the performance of the offense overall this year and how they've been so effective. Well, we have a veteran group there, and they, they've played together for three years, and they're seeing the rewards of them sticking together and fighting through it. Uh, Ross in that game, because of the protection of the offensive line, protection of our backs, protection of our tight ends, they were all able to, to give us some time, and it was very successful. Our receivers made some great plays. Uh, we didn't have hardly any drops, if I recall. And uh, he, he, was, he was in one of those grooves that you like to have, your quarterback, uh, Colorado Mesa has a pretty potent rushing attack. Uh, what's going to be the key to stopping them uh, come Saturday? Tackle. Flat out tackle. We've got to tackle on every snap. We've got to get people there to the ball. And uh, we got to play faster than them. You guys have played in some, uh, some nice weather so far this season. Uh, Saturday's forecast calls for maybe some more adverse conditions. Is your team prepared uh, to play in uh, maybe some snow, some cold weather? And do you guys do anything special to prepare for that? Bring it on. Dress warm and have some fun, but bring it on. You have no control over that. Last year we played in the most miserable conditions you could ever ask out of uh, four home games, back-to-back, -back, windy, cold, all that, and it did slow us down. So we're looking for this opportunity to, uh, you know, play, whether it's a uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce Day like it was last Saturday in Pueblo or a, uh, you know, bad weather day. It really doesn't matter. You guys are uh, coming down the home stretch here. How important is it for you guys to wrap up a bye and get a home field advantage for the playoffs? Well, it, the bottom line is we're, we're not in the playoffs yet, and it, it, we're not even. Uh, we, there's a lot of football to be played. We got really three outstanding opponents that we got to play. Starts with Mesa. We got to handle our business, and then after those uh, games, we'll see where we are, and if we're in, in the uh, playoff hunt, we're in the playoff. But we still got a lot of football to be played. And, uh, only you media types like to talk like, like, like that. What's the uh, status of your running back, J.B. Matthews, for this week? J.B. will play.